Hi, my name is Bernard Sheridan from Par Breakers Golf Academy, and I'd like to welcome you to a series of videos that's going to be about the data in the Swing Guru 3D Swing Analysis software. So recently, I was appointed the position to work on this data and put out videos for the company so that players and instructors can better understand what this data means. So there will be a constant updates on this data as Swing Guru begins to change the data or add or take away any data. Then I will post it up here on YouTube on my YouTube channel. So if you have any questions about this, don't hesitate to contact me at parbreakers at gmail.com. And if there's any data that you would like to see in this Swing Guru system that's not yet available, then please either contact me or leave a comment below any of the videos that are posted here on YouTube. So once again, uh, let's take a look at the Swing Guru 3D system, Swing Guru Pro. First, what we're seeing is the 3D model of the player, and we're also seeing our balance, and then we're seeing below here a data table. Okay, so if you want to just see the data table, you can just click on that and then go to one single version. Once you go to this one single version screen, You'll go down here to where the data table is and click on that, and now you get the data, okay? So I know that I like to set it up when I'm looking at the data uh, with a student, or if I'm looking at it for my own use, um, then what I'll do is I'll just go right to this screen, and then that, and just as a single view. So the first thing that we see is balance left and right. So the data table is kind of set up from the ground up. So balance left and right is going to show our feet and center of gravity or center of mass. So if we go in here and uh, let's go to a two view because now we can see our feet and center of mass. What I'm going to do is switch this. Or, well, we're going to leave it exactly the way it is here. Okay, so. So we're going to, and if we want, we can switch these. We can make this on the left and uh, the player on the right, or, or right now it's on the, the players on the left and uh, the feet are, on, you know, our center of mass measurement, balance left and right is on the right. So at, we, once we get to the beginning of this pull bar here, okay, or, or what's going to toggle through the swing as a slider, we're going to see the player at address. And that we're going to see a ball and where that player's center gravity is at address. So if I draw a circle around that player's center gravity at address, it's going to be right about here, maybe a little bit lower than that, actually. So let's erase that. Let's get that just a little bit lower. We'll erase that and go just a little bit lower. And right about there is where a player's um, center of gravity sits, okay? So right around belt buckle, maybe a little bit lower in, into pelvic area, okay? That's where the mass of a player is, and that's how this is measured, okay? It's also measured by where that mass travels in the swing. So if we go to the first position... That's where we can see that that mass has not moved a whole lot. It's pretty much stayed center, okay? And uh, that's like the, the initial takeaway. And then as we move up here to the top, we're definitely going to see that that ball has now moved 53% to the back foot. I prefer to see 65. We're seeing that this player at address was actually 5446 at address and as they moved back their head started to move towards the target a little bit and and their weight actually it kind of got into a little bit of a reverse pivot so when you get into a little bit of a reverse pivot like this what we're going to see is not as much weight transfer to the back foot 
Okay, so we like to see that somewhere around 65. Um, you can use that as a norm. So if we draw your circle here now where the center of gravity is, it's more in this position, okay? And it's actually gone rose just a hair, and that's why we see it move out towards the toe, okay? If it moves out towards the toe drastically, then we're, gonna, we're really going to notice changes in posture and things like that. So now as the player moves into impact, we're seeing that ball move forward. That's what we want to see. We want to see it uh, so that that way the player is having a weight transfer to the front foot on the downswing. And if we draw a circle on that one, let's make that one yellow. Now that mass is moving forward. It's 66%. What is a number that I like to see? Well, you know, a Tour Pro would be probably, if they were on this system, about 85, maybe 90% at impact. Um, uh, if The closer we can get to that number, the better. Um, but essentially, uh, I like to see most mid-handicap players to be at least at 65% or uh, ideally 75% by this position. And then when they finish... We want to see that number going somewhere in the 90s, um, which this player is doing, which is, a, which is great, okay? And that center gravity, we'll see, is moved out towards the toe more, and that's because of full postural release. So hopefully this will clear up center of mass balance left to right and some of the numbers that we want to see. We like to see this, this thing move in semi-linear, and not moving way from toe to heel, moving around this way, but more in a trace that's more linear across, which means that the player is staying in balance and maintaining posture through most of their swing. So if you have any questions about this, don't ever hesitate to email me at parbreakers at gmail.com. I am the uh, research and development in the field for Swing Guru in the U.S., and I'm here to help you and answer any questions that you may have. Or you can leave comments in the video below. So hopefully this helps. And uh, we'll move on to the next part of the data in our next video series. Thanks so much.